Despite the lingering state pension fund problems, the Rhode Island General Assembly has adjourned for the summer. They have promised to return this fall to deal with that problem. But as we see now on flashback, in some years, the lawmakers were still in session as late as July 27th. One example is 29 years ago today in 1982. On a normal July day, these halls would be empty. Lawmakers would be on vacation or at their normal weekday jobs. It was redistricting that was keeping the legislators working so far into the summer that year. Here's how the local head of the Republican Party felt about it. We will go probably uh, to court uh, uh, on Friday morning uh, to seek a temporary restraining order. There was also another special visitor to the State House today. Maybe you'll recognize her, the daughter of our former president, Amy Carter. She was here visiting with friends who share Senate paging duties with her at the Capitol. Maybe it will be Amy Carter's visit. Maybe it'll be the hot, muggy afternoon spent deliberating over boundary lines. One thing's for sure, this State House summer will be one that lawmakers will never forget. Carrie Jackson, Newswatch 10 in Providence. Now, July 27th, 1940, the day the old, the original, the first Jamestown Bridge opened to traffic. These pictures were actually taken during construction of the bridge a year earlier. Quite a marvel, an engineering marvel, the first bridge linking Jamestown and North Kingstown, and even perhaps more amazing, it came in under budget and was open to traffic. The construction was completed a year ahead of schedule. Unlike the current Jamestown Bridge, which was completed years late and at twice the original estimated cost. As for the reporter in 1982, Carrie Jackson is now Carrie Logsdon and is an executive at the Indianapolis Medical Society. The uh, head of the Republican Party in 1982 and for a few years after was John Holmes.